Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and apparently um, Oregon is continuing to push more gun control instead of actually thinking about what should be going on. They closed the so-called boyfriend loophole in their domestic violence gun law. Now, let me explain to you how the domestic violence gun law in Oregon works. Uh, if you're accused of domestic violence, your gun rights are removed. If a restraining order from a judge is issued against you, your gun rights are removed. Now, this used to be only if the person was living with the individual or was married to him. It now excludes that condition to include anyone anywhere in the state. And while this law has not yet been abused horribly, I can easily see it being abused horribly because there are still no provisions within the law on restoring gun rights to someone accused and not convicted or restoring gun rights to someone who has proven that the restraining order is not needed. So literally anyone can try to get the gun rights of anyone else taken away. And in Oregon, you do not have to face your accuser when they attempt to put a restraining order on you or have someone representing you when a restraining order is being put on you. They can run the court without you being present and not even notifying you. So your gun rights can literally be taken away from you without you be even knowing it now. So... This is going to become a serious issue. You top this off with the current sentiment that many of these gun grabbers have, which are being expressed by, in, by people and are even being displayed on, say, billboards such as Kill the NRA. And it really makes me wonder just how much of a problem with violence these people really have versus trying to take away the ability for someone to stop them from taking over through violence. Because the more this gun control continues to get pushed, the more it seems like it is nothing more than a power play in order to stop freedom from being something available in America. I mean, we saw what happened in Australia with their gun buybacks and their forced gun turn-ins, and now Australia is being even more controlled by the elites than it was before. And the more control a government has over its citizenry, the less free the citizens are. So America, you need to wake up. We need to stop giving up our freedoms. And Oregon, you need to as well. We need to start pushing back on some of this. I understand I don't want domestic abusers having guns to go kill their victim. But we need to have some serious changes to this law so that it can actually be effective while not just being abusive to people's rights. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe or thumbs up and subscribe if you're on Speak Out. Also, don't forget you can visit me at the other social media sites down below. And as always, have yourself a great day.